from breaking hearts in The Sopranos to being absolutely broke, actress Drea D'Amatio explains the real reason why she joined OnlyFans. Welcome back guys to Fog Entertainment and we're here today to talk about Drea D'Amatio, someone that features quite heavily on this channel. We have Sons of Arnica Refuse, we have The Sopranos Refuse, and she is in a lot of them. So whenever she hits the news, whenever she is being talked about, whenever she's trending, it tends to feature on this channel. And of course, when the news announced that she was launching an OnlyFans, we covered that, we gave her opinion on it. But she's a grown ass woman. She is entitled to do what she wants to do. However, during an interview with Fox News, she gave the real reason behind her joining the adult website. And that is what we're here to talk about today. So Andrea DiMatteo was speaking with Fox News. And when she was speaking about how she has joined the adult subscription website, she says, quote, I know some people have said nasty things about me having joined OnlyFans, but you know, the way we see it in this house is mommy's a warrior not accepting defeat. End of quote. So you might be thinking, what does she mean by not accepting defeat? Well, according to Drea DiMatteo, she has almost been defeated because she has been prevented work due to her stance on the COVID-19 vaccine mandates and the fact that she was against it. She claims that she has struggled to get any work. She's essentially been blacklisted by Hollywood. Her agent has dropped her and it has made it impossible for her to earn money in her industry. She claims that she's been referred to as a savage and basically being forced out because she was the bad girl that didn't follow a couple of rules a few years ago. She also went on to say how she almost lost her home over it and now that she doesn't care because she would rather save her family than save face. So pretty interesting take here for Drio DiMatteo and if that is the circumstances if that really is the case then I can definitely feel for her because that's bullshit that she would have to lose jobs and lose working and be forced out of the acting industry because of a particular stance on a particular subject but I can believe that because unfortunately that is the kind of world that we live in and if you don't agree if you don't follow the rules you do get cancelled. Now DiMatteo went on to say how quote I used to have a lot of money and then all of a sudden I went from being allowed to work to never being allowed to work again. I was never the kind of actor that took jobs just to stay in the business. I literally took jobs to feed my family. So when people make nasty comments about why I have done that, my response is damn straight. I hope you're never in the position I am. I take care of an entire family and a lot of other people who depend on me. End of quote. So, I mean... I, I, from that standpoint, I completely agree with her. If she need, you need to do whatever you need to do to support your family. I, I get that. If she can't work, if she's been forced out of her industry, if it's been made difficult for her to find work because of her beliefs on that certain subject, then, you know, that, that sucks for her. And if she can make money elsewhere, then that is great. So, you know what? Good for her. Go ahead and do it. Regarding the whole OnlyFans, she went on to say how a lot of people are on Instagram and how they get paid for being in their bikinis and they get paid for being in their underwear. So she felt like she may as well do the same and that she didn't know why she didn't think of it sooner. And I get that. I mean, if you're going to do pictures in your underwear or whatever, if you want to technically call, consider yourself a model or whatnot, I mean, that's fine. But those people on Instagram, they're getting paid through ads. They're getting paid through the followers that they have. And because they have a large amount of followers, they're going to get like uh, product promotions and, and stuff like that. Fans and followers on Instagram are not paying money out of their own pocket to see chicks in underwear. Unlike OnlyFans, where it is a subscription-based website, and for you to see her in her underwear, you're going to actually have to pay. So there is a difference just because people make money on Instagram. It is, it is a lot different because they're making money through the actual website. They're making money through promotions and product placement and stuff like that, ad revenue, whereas 
Drea DiMatteo joining OnlyFans, she's only going to make money through the actual individuals that would have to pay her the money to see her in her underwear. And she's very attractive. Even at 51, she's pretty attractive. So, I mean, I have no doubt that she could be a model. She could make money on Instagram, but I think she's going to... Not going to struggle because she is famous and she will make a lot of money because she is an attractive woman. But I just don't think she's going to make that much. You know, I don't think she's going to start making millions just because she's uploading underwear pics on um, OnlyFans. Because like I said, you actually need people to pay money out their own pocket. You're not making it through all the other different avenues. However, that is where I stop sympathising with Drea DiMatteo because for me... I think she's took this way too far. She um, spoke about... Now, she's a, like I said, she's a grown-ass woman. She can do what she wants to do. But where I draw the line and where I completely disagree is, is she's brought her kids into this. She was speaking about her children and how she confided in them and asked their opinions about OnlyFans. And she says that her kids encouraged her to do it and basically gave her the green light. Now, if they were... Adults, if they were over 18, it would still be weird, but at least I could accept that. However, that is not the case. Her daughter's 15 and her son is 12. So why the hell is she even bringing that up to them? Why is she even getting them involved? People will say, it's her children, it's none of your business. It's wrong. That is so fucking weird. Why is she involving her 12-year-old son in a decision about her joining OnlyFans. It makes zero fucking sense. It, there's something clearly wrong there. That's just not a conversation you should be having. I think it's bad enough her doing OnlyFans with little kids like that. But if she wants to do it, then that's fair enough. But actually getting them involved and getting them to participate in the editing process is insane. Drea DiMatteo said, quote, My kids were the one that were like, do it. Alabama will edit the pictures too because they want certain things that we haven't been able to do, end of quote. So she says her kids were the ones that says do it. Then she says Alabama, that is her daughter. She says that Alabama will edit the pictures. That's insane. So her 15-year-old daughter is going to edit pictures of her in her underwear, or in her bikini, or showing a shitload of skin, showing cleavage. She's going to be the one editing those pics to be uploaded online for fucking men to pay for to see her mum half naked. Like, that is mind-baffling. That's insane. And I get it. People will say... Drea DiMatteo can do only... Yeah, she can. If she wants to do OnlyFans, she can. But seriously, getting her kids involved and, and getting her daughter to actually be the one editing these photos, if you don't think that's weird, then I don't, I'm afraid I don't know what to tell you because that is very fucking weird. <laughs> it's very fucking weird. And again, our 12-year-old son who is caught... And the name's Alabama Gypsy Rose is the daughter and Waylon Albert Blackjack is the son. Pretty strange names there. But no, I mean, her even getting them involved, you know, it's 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 dumb. It's it's not right. And um, I, I've got a question. Uh, I've really got a question, Drea DeMatteo, here. Like, I, I feel sorry for her if she, is, uh, if she has genuinely been forced out of work and almost losing her home. You know, that does suck, but this is too weird. This is too weird. Getting permission from her kids, doing OnlyFans and... Even telling her kids about the OnlyFans and then getting her daughter to, to make the picture. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Guys, let me know what you think down below. You know what? Sucks. She, I doubt she's going bankrupt. I, I read her net worth was like $8 million. Now, true, sometimes net worths on Googles are, are bullshit. Maybe she's just got a, a, a big lifestyle. Maybe she needs a lot of money to maintain that lifestyle or whatever. You know, she her rent is probably more than the average person's rent. Or maybe she owns her home. I don't know. Look, just do only fans if you want, but I mean, getting your kids involved is fucking weird. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Let's know what you think down below. Am I overreacting here, or is that weird as fuck? In my opinion, it is weird as fuck. That's it, guys. Catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.